Well, Francesco and I, we have had our fresh fits, so we are back with more analysis from the professional standard at Philadelphia Dance Board Championships 2021, which were held in Tampa. Into fifth place, we had Casey and Casey. They uh, came all the way from Utah for the competition. And I have seen these guys dance Latin, and they're very, very impressive Latin dancers. This is the first time I believe that I was aware of them dancing ballroom. And, uh, you know, this was a very, very good final, and uh, they held their own there. Their final analysis was six, five, 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 six. And once again, they finished fifth. So, Francesco, what are your feelings on this young couple? If I, if, if I remember ro right, actually, I, I think I placed the fifth almost in every dance also. Oh, very, very nice couple. I mean, I'm from Italy, so the names KC and KC, today I can pronounce it after 20 years, you know, very challenging names. <laughs> like, I mean, look my name, Francesco, KC. What? <laughs> very, very funny name for me, but very lovely couple, very lovely couple. Um, I had to say, like, I, I, I agree with you. I remember them more in the, in the Latin, so I believe they're a ten, ten dance couple which to me, they are the most challenged people because they got to rehearse double, they got to practice double. They have to spend double money to, to train and become a fantastic dancer. Mm -hmm. So I always have full respect for 10 dance couple. And this guy, I start seeing them quite often around the floor. And I believe like, we, we got to give them some time. I believe they're very young. Um, yes, Utah couple, so very well training over there. Utah is a very good state for young couple to train. A lot of good teachers going there, a lot of good coaches they go in. So I'm excited to see what it will be for the future for them. As now, let's say a little bit critique, I would say I would like to see them more connected. I would like to see them more uh, performance talking. They're going to be a little bit more... Uh, they're going to be a little bit more ready. But to me, like already being the final in a, such a good event, uh, like in, in Philadelphia, they did very well. I have to say they did very, very well. So I'm excited to see what happens in the future with them. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. And because they are so good at both styles, it would be very interesting to see them dancing smooth. Yeah, you never know. You know what I mean? Like, in, and again, they're very active. They're Utah couple. In Utah, people are more active than ever. Every time I go in the state, I'm like, the, the, the guys, they're having a different drive than any other state in America. So over there, they can do very good. So I'm excited to see what, the, what their own journey, journey will be. Okay. Well, guys, well done. You did a great job. And now we're going to uh, move on and uh, actually see who finished fourth in this competition. Francesco and I are going to take a few minutes off so that we can get a little refreshment, but we will be back with more analysis of the professional standard at the Philadelphia Dance Sport Classic 2021.